my name is Karen Stangram and welcome to my channel Conquer Crochet. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you do not miss a single stitch. If you've missed any of the videos or if you're brand new to crochet or you just want a quick refresher course, click in the cards up here and I will make sure that I put in a link there for my uh, beginners crochet course playlist so you can go back and you can check to see if you've missed any of the videos. If you're ready, let's get going. Okay, so today we're going to need a pair of scissors for our snipping ends. We're going to need a needle to sew in our ends. I'm using a four millimeter hook, an elastic band, which you can buy in most pharmacies. And I'm using Patterns 100% cotton yarn. So I quite like this, it gives a lovely sheen to it. So I'm going to unwind some of my yarn, just so I have something to work with. Make sure there's no knots in it, like that. <laughs> and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm not going to tighten up just yet. I'm going to take my hook out and then pop over the elastic band, put my hook back in. And I'm going to make a chain around the elastic band. Pull on the slip knot just to tighten it up. Okay, we're now going to double crochet all the way around the band. So to do this, we go into the middle of the band, yarn over, back through the middle of the band, bringing the yarn with us, yarn over, and make our double crochet goes into the band, yarn over, back through the band, yarn over, pull through the two loops on your hook. Now we want to try and make sure you can't see any of the elastic band underneath. So as you keep going, stop pushing your stitches together just so you can make sure you have everything nice and tight there. I'm going to fast forward the video now. If you need to pause it whilst you go around, that's absolutely fine. See okay, so I think I've come to the end of where I want mine to be. Obviously, if I stretch now, I can still stretch my elastic band, but the whole thing is pretty much covered with my double crochet. I'll put a little number up here somewhere so I can tell you exactly how many stitches I use. Obviously it's going to depend what size elastic band you have used as to um, how many stitches you're going to need and how much you've pulled the elastic band to see whether or not there are any gaps. Okay, so to end this round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet that we made. So not into the slip knot into the first double crochet, making sure I've gone under the two loops, yarn over, pull back through, then pull back the loop on your hook. Now if you wanted to, you could just leave your scrunchie like this, so it's just a very nice hairband, or you could make it a little bit more roughly by following the next step instructions. So I'm going to chain two, And I'm going to chain another one, sorry, I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to do a treble in the next stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull back through, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do a treble stitch all the way around. So again, I'm going to speed up the video so you don't need to watch me doing the treble stitch. Obviously, you can come back and watch again if you need to. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you where you can download the free PDF pattern for this and other patterns that we've had 
in our series of beginner crochet patterns. See you in a mo. This could take some time. I'm going to stop now and come back to you when I have finished. Okay, so I'm coming up to my last treble. Yarn over, there we go. So I'm not going to crochet into this one because this was the chain one that we did right at the beginning. So here was my chain three that I had to give me the height for my treble. I'm going to crochet into the third chain, one, two, three. So not into the top where the V is this time. Going into that, oops, into that stitch. I'm actually going around two parts. You could just go around one. And I'm going to do a slip stitch and then I'm going to finish off in there. If you really wanted to make this uh, a bit prettier, not that these aren't pretty anyway, but if you wanted to make it even prettier, you could um, pre-thread some beads on and then every time you're doing your double crochet or treble crochet, you could hook a bead over as well. So that would really give it some sparkle. So what we need to do now is to weave in our ends. So I'm going to go around the elastic band here. Oops. I'm going to take that first tail from where we started and pull that through. So that's through the double crochets we did around the elastic band and then going to go back and weave into the bottom of those trebles that we made just to make it even more secure especially because you're going to be pulling this in and out of your hair so you need to make sure that the ends don't come out. doesn't want to come through. Come on. There we go. Okay. Put it tight. Give it a snip. Here's your end. Stretch that out a bit. And then we're going to do the same for this top one here. I'm going to weave into one of the trebles and then down into the double, which I won't do the double, that's a bit tight, into the treble. Stretch it out and I'm going to go back up the next treble. I'm just weaving in and out of that stitch. So I'm not going to go right to the top just because I don't want a little piece hanging out over the scrunchie. Stretch it out. Give it a snip. Oop. Be very careful with these scissors. I actually stabbed myself earlier and they can be very, very sharp. Okay, so there we have our scrunchie. You should be able to wrap around your hair, depending how thick it is, a couple of times. If you only want to wrap it around twice, you'll get more of the ruffled effect. Now, obviously, the more double crochets you do around, even as I'm stretching this, I can see I could probably have put even more double crochets in to make it even tighter. And that way you would get more of a ruffled effect the more stitches you have. Okay, stick around and I'll tell you exactly how you can download the pattern for your scrunchy hairpiece. So there we have it, yet another pattern in our beginner crocheters pattern course. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's pattern. If you have, please give me a like, hit the notification bell and the subscription button below so you don't miss a single stitch. Thank you so much for joining me today and happy hooking!